Just a couple of things you may not be aware of with regards to printing. So what we've got here is we've got a spreadsheet. Just a couple of things to note. The comments, and you'll see there's a couple of errors in the spreadsheet. So if we want to print, there's various ways, but I'm going to push Control P to get to our print preview. You'll see that's what it looks like. Now notice there are no comments here. So if I go to our page setup, most of this should be fairly well known to you. Portrait, landscape, how much you want to fit into. Margins, you can play with the margins, header and footer. But the tab I want to show is this one, the sheet tab. So the first thing you'll see is we've got a couple of options here. So do you want to see the grid lines? Let's just see what it looks like when I say grid lines. You'll see the grid lines are included. So that's quite nice if you've got lots of data and you don't want to sit with a ruler and try and see what numbers line up. Just going back in here. If we chose black and white, if there were any colors on the spreadsheet, instead of printing in grayscale on a black and white printer or color on a color printer, it would only show black and white. Draft quality is fairly obvious. Row and column headings, I'm just going to say OK. And you'll see all it does is it puts these in. You'll see why this is important just now. So I'll go back to Sheet. So those are those ones there. Then you'll notice it says Comments. And at the moment it's set to None. If we click on Comments, I can choose that I want to see the comments in the spreadsheet either at the end of the sheet or as displayed on the sheet. So let's choose that one for now. And I'll say OK. And you'll see we now see them actually on the spreadsheet. So if you want to do that, you can do it that way. Or alternatively, I'm going to choose to have the comments at the end of the sheet. Now notice this print only had one page. When I put it at the end of the sheet and I say OK, you'll notice there's now two pages. So if I go to the next page, what it is the listing of the cell reference and what the comment was. Now the problem with this obviously is where's G9 over here. So that's where perhaps it would be a good idea to switch the row and column headings on. So now we can see that G9 is over there. We can see what the comment was. In that same area we've also got an option of how to treat these error messages. You'll see a division by zero error, value error. So especially division by zero errors, they probably are legitimate. So here that we have genuine zeros. So that's not an error in a spreadsheet, that's just mathematically what the answer is. But if you go to page setup and sheet, you'll see we've got here cell errors as displayed. So whatever's on the sheet is shown on the paper. But I can choose rather to make it blank. So if you watch over here when I click OK, you'll see although it's still on the spreadsheet, you don't see it. We do have a couple of other options there. So we can choose just to put double dash. So you'll see there's a double dash there. Or you could specify that it must all show hash NA, so it's not applicable in that case. So you have quite a few ways to control the error messages. The last thing here is how it prints when your spreadsheet is very wide and very long. So by default it's down then over. So it'll print this way, then go and print the next batch of columns. I can then say over then down. So it prints a whole, all the columns and then goes to the next batch. So those are some of the options you have when it comes to printing.